you show appreciation to them so for him to know that no matter how far he went he had the full support of all Ghanaians including the Western Republic and the Westboro countries so um, I present to you yes you know this information that has been produced here in Ghana by the um, road the road coach refinery and it's the first certified um, responsible jewelry council um, member in the whole of West Africa for responsible um, gold. So this one goes to you, Mr. Mohammed, for the hard work and for making Ghana very proud. You know that next time that we go for the World Cup, we will still be fit for purpose. And we should, I hear now they think these are numbers of about nine now. Mm -hmm. For Africa, isn't it? Yeah. So we have a bigger opportunity when we go uh, for the next one uh, in 20, um, 26, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we also have support from Fox uh, Monaco. They've been supporting us with a lot of our work um, on the gold or mining space because we believe in um, sustainable mining. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you for for honoring this. It's, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to, to be in this premises, and I want to thank my teammates because um, we don't feel like that's a team, and team, everyone yes. played their part. And I think. It's a collective trophy for all the guys oh, who went to the tournament. So, so I want to give thanks to the teammates and the whole technical team and all my brothers for Thank you for, 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 for all of this. Yes. From from this World Cup, you saw uh, the team went um, regardless of the performances. You saw the, the regardless of the results, you saw the performances from the whole team. And there's a lot of young guys coming up in the team. So I think the future looks looks bright. It was a good lesson for us, for me personally, also first tournament and almost. 90% of the guys in the squad, so I think it's a lesson that we take with us because in these big stages is the small margins and small stuff that make the difference. So we look forward to, to, to the next World Cup. And also your, t your teammate, uh, Sally Samet, uh, he said you and you know, Kamadi Suleimana, the two of you would lead the next generation. What's your reaction to that? I think you, you've seen the video, right? Yeah. Of Salis, yeah. What was your reaction to that? Saying that is it like big responsibility to have your teammate saying that the two of you lead the next generation? Um, it's a good insight to to come from a top player like him because I also believe he's one of the, um, the big guys in the team that will lead the team. But I feel um, we all have a big responsibility and role we play in the team. And as an individual, I just try and do my best as a, as as an individual to help the team. So I think. We all have big responsibilities and roles to play, but it's a good insight and good motivation to even do more. You know? So thanks to him, and I also believe he also have a good um, career ahead of him, and I believe that he can he can do more. Oh, do I have to talk? Yeah, you have to. Well, your reaction to him, Salis, saying that you. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, like we said, you know, he's uh, no, 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 like at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's a top player, and then you know, uh, getting uh, this uh, from a top player, then yeah, you motivated to you know, even uh, do more. So yeah, thanks to him, I like he said, I believe he's uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, best uh, players in our team, and then uh, in the future, yeah, if he's saying we are, uh, we will be taking responsibility, we will be leading the team, he will be he will be leading the team with us. Uh, uh, a couple of uh, players in the national team are uh, very young, and then you know. 
yeah, if we are able to keep this team, yeah, uh, we will be able to um, lead them, uh, uh, lead Ghana together. Because, uh, yeah, we know each other, and then uh, uh, if you keep playing, then we will be playing for a long time, then we know uh, what to do and uh, how we are going to play together. Then uh, it's more easier to. Uh, to play and then win games and hopefully um, uh, in the future we win, we win more games uh, the condition becomes tighter and everything so I think um, um, uh, what he says uh, is a compliment to us uh, but at, at the same time it's, uh, it's something that should motivate us uh, to uh, even want to do more for the country and for ourselves but yeah, he, yeah he's probably the leaders uh, in the future I, I, I believe yeah. so on this day uh, Sally so today. <laughs> Good <laughs> day, but, 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 but you, you know, come out in personally. What next for you? The, the next half of the season. What are your targets? It's been a you know slow start to the yeah, season. Yeah, so uh, I've been getting a lot of um, uh, injuries. It's like a little frustration, back and forth. So yeah, it's a little. Uh, uh, it's, I, I get the frustration a lot because you know when you are back on track and then all of a sudden you go back uh, to uh, you go back at the side again. So what uh, my priority right now is to stay. Uh, 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 fit, you know, to be uh, be on the pitch uh, more, uh, more, and then I know uh, what I can do when I'm on the pitch. So I just need to get on the pitch and everything will flow. So yeah. All right. Um, I think uh, the winning the African Cup and, and the World Cup. Right? That's the major trophies with the national team. So I think that's the goal every single time. So I think we have to do that too. Okay. So you, um, you had limited time during the, the World Cup. Um, do you see yourself commanding more starting spots with your performances um, at your club side? For me, um, uh, every coach has, uh, you know, um, uh, what they, what they, what they, I don't know, what they need in a, a specific game, you know. So, um, uh, uh, during uh, different games, you need different tactics, and then yeah, uh, sometimes you have to play with different players to uh, get your tactics uh, done well, you know. But I believe. Uh, uh, with my qualities and what I do, um, uh, um, I'll, I'll get my chance and I'll, I'll, I'll play. And then, like you saw uh, with the military boats, uh, when, I, when, I, when I keep getting down, uh, things will keep flowing. But the 35.7 the, the, the kilometers per hour that you hit, Mbappe has even hit that. Is this something that you, I know you're fast, but to be that fast, you, do you remember the moment you hit it? Yeah, it was on that, that counter attack. Yeah, Tell me know, about it. I don't it. think it was a counter attack. It was a counter attack. I don't think I was running with the ball was different, you know. But mm -hmm. I think it was uh, when I was running back, you know. You know, the, uh, we were out, uh, we down 2 0, and then, you know, it was almost, I don't know, uh, five minutes more to go. And yeah. then there was a counter against us because we, uh, we were attacking. So then I had to recover back because I saw a player, you know, uh, uh, who was free. So I had to. Uh, get there first before the player gets there. So I think that was the that was the sprint. But uh, I, w I wasn't even running that fast. You can't even go no no. But but no man, you I have just one question for you. Uh, you're 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 really really young, really talented. You know, you just you just started you just started you know your football career literally this year, and. A few months later, you were included in the provisional squad for the FIFA World Cup. What did it mean to you at such a young age? Did it come sooner than you expected? Well, um, it means a lot to me and because uh, this, this year was my first season playing as a professional. And when I, was, I started, it was a bit tricky. You know, I had to adapt in a lot of ways. But then when I had my game flowing, it became uh, normal for me. But uh, when I saw my name in the provisional squad, it also motivated me a lot. Then I also need to keep working harder and harder, and hopefully I'll get there. Okay. You'll get there. You will get there. You will get there. <laughs> <laughs>